Okay, I understand that, but shouldn't that pick, when you're going to say what you have to offer, okay, shouldn't that be based still back on both parties should be able to, it's like, okay, let's say the woman expects you to have a job that pays a hundred grand a year, okay? Right. I know I may sound a little ridiculous, but see, there's been some people that have been real ridiculous about what their expectations are to begin with. If you expect somebody to have to have this, this, and this, and this before you would give them the time of day, then should you not have to have the same things you expect somebody else to have? Well, you should at least have something in, in comparison. I mean, a hundred, let's be frank, $100,000 is a, that's a pretty steep salary. But if you want it, if you well, want yeah, to... Well, yeah, you're, you're correct. That is pretty steep. That is, the thing yeah. Is, yeah, you're correct. That is pretty steep. But the thing is this. You're expecting somebody to have something to base the relationship without knowing somebody. That's wrong. Because now you're telling them what they have to have. So, okay, what kind of love is that? What, they love what you got? No, I mean, no. You know, you know, that's really what that comes down to because how many people in today's world make a relationship? I mean, it's very obvious you have done some very correct shit or, or stuff in your life to, to make your life successful with the gal you're with. And that's great, and I applaud you for that. But if you uh, look around you at a lot more than yourself and all the people that are going through what they're going through, you will start seeing a lot of people that they couldn't even do what you've you done. They couldn't even begin to do what you've done, and that's not, that's not a sexist thing because that's both sides. Well, maybe, you have maybe what sides out there using women for what? Just to get in their pants, and as soon as they've gotten their want, they're on their way. And when women do this to women, what do you think they do to women? I know a gal in Texas right now that I've been talking to, uh, yeah, that's before all the trouble happened between me and Duane there. Okay, this gal actually lives a TFL life. She's 32 years old. She's the age of Dwayne. Okay, and all she's right. had nobody, nobody in her life. She's all she's had is rejection. Okay, and this time she calls me up and she's really upset. She's had a day and she's so scared and worried at her age that she wants to someday have a kid. And, and if this life keeps happening to her, guess what? She's going to be deprived of having that kid, ain't she? Okay. All right. I, I, I see your point, but I just want to read or I want to go back on one thing a second. In a relationship, I think what I see with women today, what I read and, and women I know personally, one of the things that seems to really, I think, get under women's skin is they're like, if I want to get into a relationship with a guy, number one, I want a mature man, and I want a man who pulls his weight. Now, I don't mean to bring, and I don't mean to bring him up, and I really hope if he's listening, please understand, Mr. Holloway, I mean absolutely no offense. But oh, don't worry. What, I, what I see with Dwayne, what I see with Dwayne is that unfortunately I see a man who is, and forgive me for saying this, but it is very minimal on what to, what to offer a woman in the area of security. Outside of, these, outside of saying, I absolutely, you know, if I love you, I adore you, I'll be there. But a woman might be like, well, look, you know, I go to work and I break my back every day. If you're going to be in a relationship with me, I need you to pull your weight. Sir, I only thing I can say is this, from my opinion, okay, just let me bring up a few points just before, you know, you speak some more. And I appreciate everything you're saying. We look forward to more callers into the show, okay? okay. And when it comes to biology and stuff, then, uh, you know, population goes its own way. I mean, I have read, sir, um, the P. One particular P way form, I forgot what it was because I haven't visited in months now, but there was one comment made on this uh, supposed P way form, sir. And this one commenter said, well, unfortunately, with the weight, blah, 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 you know, his personality is really messed up. And unfortunately, uh, it's good, it's, 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 it's good that his genes will die with him. I mean, what do you think about just that little example for a moment? Well, I mean, I get you know, I'm going to this person is saying that it's good that I will die so that my genes will not pass, unfortunately, so I will not have any offspring for for society and stuff. I mean, natural selection, if you know right, what I mean. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you see, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm that, not person, that person just basically just stated that natural selection is good for me, and it's good that I will die alone, okay? Possibly. Right. I'm not saying, I, I can't predict the future for you, sir, but I respect your opinions. I know exactly where you're going. Okay, but for, for me, as a male and as a human being with a heart, that's very hurtful. I'm a human being, too. I have feelings okay. just as much as you, 
that next person, Bill, the listeners listening into this show, and even those who hate the show or hate the movement or hate between what we're trying to get out across to people in this awareness, both men and women going through it, that's very hurtful as a human being. I'm a person, too. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. I got that. Now that and and as, far, as far as the security goes, I understand where you're coming from. Let's take this little example for a moment, okay? My ex, Tasha. Uh, I know I shouldn't bring personal issues into this, but I've heard over an actual phone conversation that she let me listen into, okay? I visited her for her place to meet her mother and her, and her mother's uh, boyfriend, okay? I'm not saying any names, okay? I got to know this guy, okay? He welcomed me into his uh, mother's, her, my ex's mother's home, okay? We shook hands, had a great dinner, watched sports on TV. He asked me a few questions. I know the questions he's going to ask me before he even answers them or asks me, okay? I know what's on his mindset. I know what's going through his mind and what he wants to ask me because I got these many same vibes my whole life growing up, okay, especially when it comes to the dating scene. And he asked me a uh, very disrespectful question that I really didn't have to answer him, like, uh, oh, so excuse me, uh, how much do you weigh, by the way? Now, I could have been a complete asshole, and I could have said, none of your business, uh, sir, and go fuck yourself, okay, first of all. I don't mean to curse, but this is just my no, feelings. That, that, no, but I didn't. I was a total they gentleman. Just as you're speaking to me, I'm speaking to you. I was a total gentleman, and I answered his questions, even though I knew that was an ignorant question he asked, but I answered it. Now, later, okay, after our Thanksgiving, I went home, and my ex-girlfriend wanted me to listen to the conversation of what her, her mother and her boyfriend thought about me. I actually heard this conversation, sir. They didn't know, okay? Now, after I shook this person's hand, okay, and for some reason I knew there was a little bit of fakeness there. I know he's hiding something. I have those vibes about people sometimes. Now, he said over the phone that I was a loser. I had nothing to offer, okay? Nothing to offer you. Let's be real. Uh, his weight, the state will take care of him, and so forth. That's very hurtful, too. All right. Now, <laughs> that was the only physical relationship I've ever had with any lady in my entire life in the dating scene leading up before and after, okay? So, but if I can understand where the ladies want to turn down a guy because usually in the old days, they'll just come out and just blatantly just, just tell you and stuff, which I could respect the lady for, which is if you don't feel attractive either physically or for whatever reason, personality-wise and stuff, you, the woman could just say to the guy, you know, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but you're just not my type, and just call it a day and say, you know, thank you, and I thank you for your opinion. That's at least honesty I can take. But made the statement about uh, in the dating scene, it's like looking for a car. Nobody wants the ugly car. Well, right. you know, if you go with that statement and you think about what you just said, nobody had no say-so over what they were going to grow up to look like. And if a woman, now this this is not a one, this is not, a, I don't mean this as discriminatory, but I'm going to use the woman for example, okay? All right. If a woman looks at a guy, okay, and she has to have all this list of stuff that I've seen so many women put out before she will consider giving a guy the time of day. And if you have to have, as the man, security as a woman would say, which is a good job, good money, or she wouldn't give you the time, that's not really loving you for you. That's wanting what you have. Right. Okay? You would never have had a PUA and a David D'Angelo and the Jeff Rosseries, who got rich selling that stuff if there was not a legit problem in society. So when you take and put it, put, it, put it this way, when you take and it's based on that first and the sense, well, well you got to have that attraction, okay? I can tell you this. I've got a couple really close friends that I've known for years, and they would both shoot that down immediately because I know this from firsthand experience. If you really truly fall in love with somebody, which you probably fall in love with your wife or you, and she loves you, or you wouldn't be with her, okay? Right. But real love doesn't recognize them looks. Real love doesn't recognize that. But in, you the, could, be but in the beginning, it has to have something, and in the beginning, you have to have a chemical attraction. But it, but it still something. shouldn't. But it still shouldn't be based on. It still still shouldn't be based on that. It should well, not think, still think be based on looks. Think of it this way. If you ever look at Hollywood as a slight, a very, very, a very mild example, if you look at some of these men and women in Hollywood, because we see them and, and millions of people see them, most of their relationships start out um, 
they start out with a chemical attraction, and after a handful of months, they can go one way or the other. They can either peter out and die, and they break up. We see that all the time. Or they could stay together, and they could turn out to be, you know, a strong, um, loving relationship. That's the way it well, always is. Yeah, like if it's meant to be, that will happen. I mean, I agree with you there, because... The fact is, is this, you cannot find love nor buy love. It either happens or it don't. Right, and it if, you had a, if you had a fair date with somebody, the example would be a fair date is when you take, you've take taken the time to get to know each other. If there's not things in common with you and you, each other, you couldn't, then you can't thought that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how it is. Right. But if people took the time to know one another rather than, the first five seconds Sherry knows. Like the same gal that used the car lot, for example, her also statement is, in 30 minutes, but most of the time a lot faster than 30 minutes, she knows if she wants to know somebody or not. Well, you think well, about that. Isn't that, but if isn't you that don't know, so yeah, but if you don't want to know somebody, you already made your mind up, you don't want to know somebody, right? All right. When she, once you do this before you know somebody, and then you've got the guys or the gals out there complaining about they can't find the right person, but they just turned down how many people, and if they had gotten to know some of these people that they turned down, because real love does not recognize looks and sex because you didn't have even years ago when you got people who stayed together from the time they were married to the time they rolled and died. Nobody kept their looks. Nobody kept their bodies. You know, there's a lot of women when they get pregnant, they had a good figure until they got pregnant, and then after they got pregnant, they kept their weight. And then you got some ignorant guys out there that use that against them. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's wrong, too. It's trying to get people to look past the cover. It's trying to get people to look past the cover and to what a person is and look for things that are in common, things that will make a relationship last for years. Well, you see, the thing, but the thing is, any, any average relationship has to have a, a start. And I think what you're asking is you're putting a huge amount of pressure on, and normally in this situation, you're putting, we're, just going, we're going, you know, male-female here. You're putting a huge amount of pressure on women to look past things that they know they can't lie to themselves about. Now, you, you know this, and you've got to be really honest with me when, when I ask you this. You can't tell me that you haven't seen women on the street that you completely you look at and you're like, not attractive, not attractive. Oh, there's an attractive woman, but there's a non-attractive woman. And honestly, are you going to gravitate towards an attractive woman or a non-attractive? Because I'm not going to lie to myself. What, what, well, what okay, I, can, I can respect what you're saying, but you know what? I, I have dated a gal, okay, All right. that was four times bigger than me. And most right. people turned away immediately based on just what you just said, okay? All right. And when you, but when you think about this realistically, okay, if so, when you when when society is doing what they're doing, okay, and you say there's a lot of pressure, going to put a lot of pressure, right? Right. Well, how do you think it is for all these men out there that go so many years just wanting one person, and how do you think the pressure is for them? Well, I mean, you can't always go back and blame the party who's not getting it saying they're making thoughts because there's been lots of guys who have done everything, including this, would take every bit of advice you ever gave them, and they would try to apply it, and they would go out there just like the guys that spent all the money in the PUA movement, and they go out of their way to do everything possible, including changing themselves. No man nor woman should have to change themselves to be somebody they're not, in order to have somebody in their life. People are supposed to, you should love somebody for who they are, not what you 